Check this out. This slider can actually be controlled. How cool are these captions? I made these captions with an app called CapCut on my phone. I've been using it for a couple months now. They are sponsoring today's video because I'm gonna show you how to create cool captions for your vertical videos. All right, first things first, if you don't have CapCut, go ahead and download the app on whatever mobile app store that you have. And once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open it up and we shall begin. All right, so here's the homepage of CapCut and overall it's pretty easy to understand. On the top, you have different tools that you can use like open up your camera or retouch an image, add captions, which we'll get to in a second. And then at the bottom, you can see all the previous products projects that you've made with CapCut. But we're gonna create a new project together and we're gonna click on this blue rectangle, tap new project, and here you can select whatever video that you want to make in CapCut and create captions. I already filmed a video that we can work on together and I think it's this one over here. So I'm about ready to film inside my YouTube studio. Here is all my gear. I got my main camera on wheels. Also attached on the wheels is my main key light. I've got my microphone and I'm ready to rock and roll. Cool, simple video, we're gonna to add to our project. And here is our main editing page. And the UI is very simple, very easy to understand. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You have your play button over here. So I'm about ready to film. You can pause, you can scrub through the video by just dragging your finger throughout the video. And if you wanna expand the video and make precise cuts, you just simply zoom out with your fingers and now you've expanded the video and you can make precise cuts with your video. We don't have time to go through all the editing features of CapCut because I just wanna focus on captions. But real quick, if you wanna make an edit, there are tools at the bottom of the screen. Let's tap on edit. Here you have things like split or cut or blade. You can speed up the video, you can add animations or whatever you want. So yeah, if you want to dive into the editing features of CapCut, just go ahead and play with it. But for now, we're just going to focus on creating captions. And before we create captions, uh, there are a few things that I want to change first. On the top, you'll see the resolution. By default, it's set to 1080p, which is totally fine for Instagram, TikTok, and even YouTube Shorts. But because I'm a 4K snob, uh, we're going to change the resolution to 4K. So on the slider, we're just going to drag the resolution to 4K. And for frame rates, I like 24 frames per second, but you know, you can choose whatever frame rate you want. And then HDR, I kind of leave alone. And Basically what that does is that it kind of converts your video to an HDR clip so that it can play back on HDR capable devices. I don't really mess with that, so we're just going to skip that. And then the other thing that I changed is the end graphic of my video clip. By default, CapCut adds their own branded end graphic. I don't like that, and so we're just gonna tap on that and delete. And with that example, like that's how you delete a clip or a layer in CapCut. So pretty simple so far. All right, now let's get to the meat and potatoes. Now to create captions with CapCut, all you have to do is tap on text at the bottom of the screen, go to auto captions, leave the settings as they are, tap on start and let the magic happen. Now this process is surprisingly quick. Like right now, CapCut just finished transcribing my voiceovers into captions, it's so cool. But let's go ahead and see if it actually did a good job at accurately creating captions. Here we go. So I'm about ready to film inside my YouTube studio. Here is all my gear. I got my main camera on wheels. Also attached on the wheels is my main key light. I've got my microphone and I'm ready to rock and roll. That was amazing. I don't think there was any mistakes at all. That is awesome. So yeah, CapCut does a pretty dang good job at accurately creating captions. And if you do run into a circumstance where you have to fix a couple words here and there, it's super easy to fix that. All I have to do is tap on the captions layer go to batch edit. And then here you can fix whatever words that need to be fixed. And I don't think I see any mistakes in the captions. I think they all look pretty good. And for example, I'll just show you how to edit text. And so uh, let's go ahead and start with the uh, the first block. Uh, let's tap on that block. And then uh, let's go ahead and capitalize the S in so. There we go, that's fixed. And uh, let's go ahead and change something else, probably towards the end where I say rock and roll. Instead of uh, the word and, A-N-D, uh, we're gonna change it to the uh, the symbol. Is it ampersand? I don't know, I forgot. There we go, looks a little better. All right, cool, so you could leave it as is. Uh, those are very, very simple captions, but the only thing is that I don't think the words stand out. And that's the thing with captions, you kind of want them to be readable. Readable? Legible. Eligible, no. You want people to easily read them. But when you're creating a vertical video for Reels, TikTok, or even YouTube Shorts, like there's a big percentage of people watching your videos without sound, which is why it's important to have captions that are readable, le legible, that you can easily read. Oh my gosh, I promise I went to school. But if you wanna change the captions, like change the font, the style, or even animations, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is make sure to tap on the captions layer, 
tap on style. And here are all the parameters that you can change. You got font, you got style, effects, animation, you got different colors that you can choose from, the size of the font. First, let's go ahead and change the, the font, not really liking that font over there. I do like a, a sans serif font like Evanier Next. That looks really nice, nice and bold. You can pick whatever font you want, but once you've selected your font, go ahead and tap the uh, check mark. Very cool. And uh, I don't know if I like the color, like the, the white doesn't really stand out. It just kind of blends in uh, with the bottom of the screen. And so let's tap on style again. And then over here, we're in the style tab. Let's go ahead and select, oh, I don't know, yellow. Okay, so that's definitely better than the, the white font. Uh, let's go ahead and change it just a little bit more. Let's change the, the size of the font. I mean, you can go like real big if you want to. Maybe we'll just keep it to that. And then just above the color swatches are more options that you can choose. Uh, let's see, let's change the, the shadow of the text. Uh, we'll choose black, obviously. Uh, we'll increase the opacity. Or what if we decrease it? Okay, I dig that. And here I'm just kind of playing around with the different uh, sliders just to see what looks the best. Okay, so visually, even though I'm not a big fan of the yellow font, you definitely can read the text a lot better. And so, yeah, I feel like these are good captions for this particular video. Uh, let's see what effects has to offer. Okay, so these are effects that you can use. I mean, they're, they're kind of cool, but yeah, again, they don't really stand out, so we're not gonna select any effect for these particular captions. But let me just show you what the animation uh, options look like. Uh, if we go to animations, you have like really cool animated uh, captions, so kind of like that. To film in... So I'm about ready to film in... So yeah, just... So I'm about ready to... Different options that you can choose from. It, it doesn't work for this particular video, and so we're just gonna turn off animation and just kind of stick to what we have. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the video. I'm going to expand the video so that I can see the entirety of it on my phone. You can do that by tapping on the expansion icon over here to the side. All right, and let's go ahead and play it back. So I'm about ready to film inside my YouTube studio. Here is all my gear. I got my main camera on wheels. Also attached on the wheels is my main key light. I've got my microphone and I'm ready to rock and roll. All right, so I'm gonna change one more thing. So I'm going to minimize it just like so. And uh, I'm just gonna change the spacing of the letters. So let's go ahead and tap on the captions layer, tap on style, just above the color swatch. There's an option called spacing, tap on that. And we're gonna go down to the character slider and we're just going to drag it to the left and make the spacing of the characters closer together. Okay, I kind of dig that. Let's expand. Ready to film inside my YouTube studio. Here is all my... Cool, uh, I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's just drag the text a little bit lower towards the bottom of the screen. Super easy to do that. Just tap on the text over here in the preview window and just drag it down to where you want it to be. You don't wanna drag it all the way down because sometimes with Reels or TikToks, there's like other text within the app that block your captions. And so about there seems pretty good. All right, so once I'm happy with all of that, we can export our video. And to do that, go to the top right of the screen. You'll see an export button over there, tap on that and now it is exporting your video with captions. All right, so we're finished exporting, and from here, you can export straight to TikTok if you want or to Instagram Reels, but we're just gonna save it to my device so that I could, you know, export it later. But yeah, that is how you create captions with CapCut. Now, these captions were very, very basic, and so I'm gonna show you some animated captions just to make your video stand out a bit more. Ooh, should I post it now? Maybe I'll post tomorrow. And then real quick, just to show you the other animation that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Uh, where was it? It was right over here with the slider. I just want to show you what that looks like. So here is a project over here. I'm going to play it back. I'll expand and... This slider can actually be controlled by your phone. It can help you film smooth. And these captions work for this particular video because I'm not like moving all over the place. Yeah, I love this animation. I just love how the words just pop in. I, I probably spoke a little too fast in that video, which is why you don't really see the words that clearly. But as far as like keeping your attention, like it totally does. And if you wanna know exactly what this effect is, I'll just tap on the captions layer, go to style, go to animation, go to caption. And the one that I chose was, oh, here we go. It's this option over here, luminance discoloration. But yeah, that is how you create captions with CapCut. Super easy to use, really fun to play with. And I love the fact that you can just do it on your phone. There is a desktop version of CapCut, which is a lot easier to use because you've got a bigger screen. And so yeah, if you want a tutorial on how to do that on your desktop, let me know in the comments below. But if you have any questions at all, then let me know in the comments below. Would love to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you CapCut for sponsoring this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.